Christopher Columbus sailed from Spain for the New World in 1492. He landed on an island in the Caribbean and discovered what was then called the New World. His arrival started a interchange, or what's now called the Columbian Exchange, of goods and animals from the Old World, Europe, to the New World, the Americas. This also meant that many diseases came over and decimated the native populations in what is now North America. Columbus's discovery of the Americas, which, by the way, he thought was India, started a golden age of exploration for France, Spain, England, Portugal, and other powerful European countries. In 1519, the Spaniard Pineda sailed to the Gulf of Mexico and mapped the coastline of Texas. In the process, he became the first European to see the lands which would one day be called Texas. In 1528, an expedition set out for Texas from Florida. On November 6, 1528, this expedition was shipwrecked on an island near modern-day Galveston. Amongst the survivors was Cabeza de Vaca. A second survivor was Estebanico, the first enslaved black African in North America. Eventually, only four of the shipwrecked men survived, Cabeza de Vaca, Estebanico, and two others. Although they were helped by local Native Americans, they soon gave dysentery to the tribe, and half of them died. After this, the four men were taken as slaves. Eventually, the four men became renowned for their healing skills and were allowed to go free and trade with other tribes because they didn't really fit in with any one tribe. Over the next several years, the four men made their way across Texas to California and finally down to Mexico City. When he returned to Spain, Cabeza de Vaca published a book called Relacion, which was uh, the first written detailed record of the life of the Native American tribes that lived in modern-day Texas. After the four men returned to Spain, they told some grandiose stories about the riches of the lands they had traveled through. And upon these stories, the explorer Coronado was dispatched to find the fabled seven cities of Cibola, cities supposedly made of gold. When Coronado reached the seven cities of Cibola, he found that it was only a Pueblo dwelling of Native Americans, and even after attacking and taking the Pueblo, he found no gold inside. One of the Native Americans they captured informed them of a far richer city called Quivera to the north, and he proceeded to lead Coronado and his men north into Kansas. When they arrived at Quivera, though, it was only a village full of grass huts. Disappointed, Coronado returned to Mexico City, his major accomplishment along the trip was that some of his men became the first Europeans to see the Grand Canyon. Spain continued to hold Texas. However, the next people to enter Texas would not be explorers, but would be missionaries, intent on converting the Native Americans. <laughs>